Like I bought my mum a restaurant, um, a tapas restaurant. Right. A chef got hit by a bus on opening night. <laughs> it went mad like, uh, God bless him. It's, 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 it's sweet, it's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, was <laughs> I was cool. gonna say. Welcome guys, I'm Joe Weller and this is Six Silks High Life, where I get to chat to some special guests on this extravagant private jet to find out how they hit the heights of their careers. Let's do it. Thomas? Yo! Come aboard, brother. Yes, what are you saying? What are you saying? God, Come yes, on. Bro. What you got here, man? Oh, check it out. It's a caravan. So, Tommy boy, we're finally back on a plane. Man. How does it feel, brother? Man, it's amazing, bro. It's amazing. And I'm with a global superstar, oh, man. Oh, come on. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? You know what? I've had a word with the pilot. I'm going to let you pick what destination we go to. Where are you going to pick? You said you wanted to go to Benadorm, do you? Oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Does he stick in me? <laughs> Maybe. All right, all right. I'll let him know. Yeah. Um, but look, bruv, the first question I want to ask you, obviously, this is all about how you got to where you are in life. Basically, I saw that you sold out a club, your first club night when you were 17. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? I started making like a little name for myself in Leeds and right. around them areas um, with, with CDs. Back then it was like copied CDs. And I thought the next best thing was to throw a party. Right. But I, so I managed to like blag a club owner basically <laughs> to let me have a Thursday night. Um, I sold 300 tickets. And then like the music production, was that before that? Or did that, were you like, well, I'm throwing these parties, I might as well learn how to make and play my own tunes as well? I basically started by just like emceeing in my bedroom. Right. As I got a bit older, I was listening to like bassline music. Yep. And that's like um, speed garage, old school like dance music. And I just used to rhyme over it and then I heard of a MC groups of MCs like Sidewinder and Heartless Crew and other people all and I used to listen to a lot of Eminem as well. Yeah. So like I was just like rhyming and then I suppose rapping and MCing and it just came over. That's how I just started doing all that. So I was just basically MCing for a laugh with my friends really before we started um, actually making beats. Okay, it's, it's so mental because like this, what you're saying, you're, you did then and that's how you started. That's like the idea that I'm currently trying to put together. So in lockdown, I spent the time like learning to DJ, me and my friend, um, and we're currently in the process of arranging like putting on events that we're going to take around the UK yeah, and then take around the world, hopefully. Yeah, that's how And I'm just show. like, that. that is like obviously exactly what you've done. Mm -hmm. But something else that I saw in it is that apparently doing the touring actually made you fall out of love with music. And is that true? I basically didn't have any rest. Like mm. I remember I once did 250 shows and it was like nearly a different country every night. Oh my and God. And or, or, or it was on the road in UK mm. doing city after city after city after city. I mean, I was really exhausted because it sounds really glamorous. Like you've got to understand like a beef on a Monday, it'd be five o'clock till six o'clock in the morning in Sankey's. Yeah. And I have to get to airport for 10 o'clock in the morning. It was just non-stop. Yeah, because people like will say, okay, you know, going around the world, playing the tracks, doing that. That's like the dream mm. for like a music performer, right? Yeah, yeah. But did you like realize that, hang about, that's actually, that's not what, you know, yeah, there was probably money with it as well. A lot of good times, girls, whatnot. Mm -hmm. But that's not actually like what fulfilled you. Don't get me wrong. Like, like I said, it is, it's amazing. I'm very blessed, very grateful. I can yeah. do this stuff. I'm very happy people like my music and want to see me in shows and stuff right. like that. Um, it came to a point where on a Saturday night, I just wanted to put my feet up and watch TV, watch X Factor or something, yeah. and it sounds really mad. But now, after a year off with lock, you know lockdown yeah. and stuff, I'm really excited to get back to it. But I've just really, really enjoyed all this time off. To just, Mate, yeah. I've made loads of new music uh, with a lot of new producers. My cousin SJ has been making some bangers and a lot of new artists. And I want to start, you know, making music that I enjoy and, and playing parties that I want to do and stuff like that. Did you actually take the like lockdown period to, to learn anything new? I loved the lockdown. I was, obviously, it was really worrying at parties yeah, and course. stuff like that. But, um, you know, as long as everyone was safe, I really enjoyed it. I was having time at home with my son. Yeah. And we were training twice a day. They were watching your fitness videos, <laughs> stuff like that, which is amazing. I kept trying to learn different languages, but I'd just go... <laughs> I, just Mate, go I was trying, bro. I was, but I that's didn't... sick, bro. That's sick. Bro. I, I, I learned Spanish when I was 12. Swear. From the age of 12 to 17. Yes. Yeah, I had sick. private lessons, and I was like, Mate, what am I doing this for? I don't know. And still, I I haven't really used it, but I know like eventually, if you have yeah. a, a language in your locker, it will come into play. Yeah, well, and you'll be I, like, I was I'm just glad. gonna, I was just gonna pretend. I was gonna say, yeah, well, I learned Spanish. I'm glad I didn't know. <laughs> oh god, is that? Obviously, looking forward then to like things you want to do, things you want to learn, like moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, what is the plan for you? Do you set like a you know five year business plan, ten year business plan, or do you sort of like go with the flow and, and adapt? 
I do go with the flow, but I like to explore every opportunity and I like to set goals and, right. you know, work towards them. As cliche as it sounds, that's what I like to do. And, you know, I've got um, a club in Leeds called Dollhouse. I run a lot of big festivals and I'm making music. So ideally, I'm looking at different spaces in different cities and I've got a plot overseas for Dollhouse. Can't really say too much about that at the minute, like right. until it's confirm stuff like that. I don't want to, you know, jinx it or yeah, whatever. Yeah, of course, but, of course. But at the same time, I want to build Dollhouse as a brand, um, um, throw big festivals and I want to get back touring. I just want to put some good music. I've got so much music that needs to come out. Let's see, it's, it's like a, that, that sounds, obviously Dollhouse is your, that's your brand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my, my one that I've like invented in the, yeah. in the lockdown, Parallel 9, right? Okay. Yeah, Basically yeah. we, uh, yeah, the name I can't, I can't go into live. But <laughs> yeah, we want to take it from like, obviously start off being like club nights around the UK, eventually putting on festivals, getting like names like yourself yeah, to yeah. like perform, that play like, you know, make like like-minded music. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it sounds like, yeah, like that's a similar thing that you're onto. And I, I just yeah, think yeah. that that's so sick because yeah, like, the is. limit with it is, is, is endless. Could make it you know, a resort, a, you know, oh, a beach. Listen, uh, you know I, what I mean? There's doll a, Beach. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Doll I've Beach. Baby Doll, which is the miniature. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Every city I want, I want a Dolly dessert. I don't want to say this on here. No, mate, no, no, don't, don't give it all away. Don't give it all away. Big, big plans, bro. And it's all materializing slowly but surely. Yeah. It's coming together. I've been working hard for lockdown. We lost a lot in lockdown. Do you know what I mean? Of course, We're living on means, do you know what I mean? So right now I'm just exploring opportunities we've made some good deals and some good connections and, and we're, we're, we are gonna be doing well with the loss but what you're saying there is a brilliant idea i mean fortunately for what you've done in the past mm. you've got a massive platform to work yeah. off you've got a huge fan base so you throw a party be. they're gonna want to go so then you do yeah. that start putting in different cities and then look at throwing a uh, getting a club in your hometown and bro i'll come play for you no problem Mate, that'd be wicked honestly that's, 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 that's literally like that is the aim that's what we're going for with, done with, with bro it, so. up three years you'll be up, you'll, have a, you'll be taking over dollars yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll do something like that wicked what i want to know as well is how important is money to you money just don't mean nothing to me bro like i i grew up for the past 10 years so i grew up without any money really right. at all i grew up in a council estate right. and my mum was a single mum with three kids so we didn't have any money at all really as i got a bit older I made my own money i had a son when i was at a very early age uh, and i had to work and work and work and uh, so when i started making big money for him pies you know i couldn't believe it and um i had all my friends that growing up with and I people that I, and i just, just throw it everywhere mate and like i've literally just blown money on silly things like I bought my mum a restaurant um a tapas restaurant right a chef got hit by a bus on opening night <laughs> it went mad like uh god bless him he's he's he's, he's sweet he's a, he survived yeah yeah he was, <laughs> I was cool. gonna say but he had like he, uh, he, had, he, he had a bad leg but anyway that went under it was like uh, it cost I had to sell my house sell my car mm. I was like homeless bro with that right me and my son were living in a spare room yeah, uh, yeah. my dad's in a bloat bed at Christmas because I had I bought my mum's restaurant money to me comes and goes and I work for money and I Luckily, I'm blessed to have money. What I'm doing now, going forward, after lockdown, I'm really gonna like manage my money better. Yeah. Because don't get me wrong, I've made some good investments and stuff like that, but I've blown a lot of money, bro. Yeah. Like I could have bank up there. And yeah. I've got a good bank, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I just wanna be able to, getting a bit older now, aren't I, bro? I need right. a pension plan, though. Mate, I feel you, you know I feel you. I mean? I you can't keep blowing money on champagne and silly stuff. What would you give advice to people that are wanting to make, you know, make it at a point where, you know, they're flying on private jets and they, yeah. they don't need to worry about where the next, you know, paycheck's gonna come, yeah. where they're comfortable. How, what sort of advice would you give? Well, like I said, I were getting regular money um, before lockdown and stuff. Like, since I was 17, right. I'd, I've earned a lot, a lot of money, but like I was just blowing on everything. Like I said, I used to take my whole family, I almost booked 16 flights and got a villa in uh, Portugal, took my whole family there just for a surprise. And I did mm. the same again, took them out to Florida, yeah. which I, to me is amazing. I don't care how much it cost, it was, it was brilliant. And I was so fortunate that I could do that. And at the same time, I was doing it with all friends and friends that aren't even friends anymore. People right. that just link on because you've got door. Mate, and when yeah. I was in that environment, because I was the party guy and throwing big parties, I was yeah. like, yeah, get champagne for everyone, yeah. I'll do this or get that car, I'll do this, I'll do that. They didn't tell me when I was younger, do you know what I mean? I wish someone had said, Tom, Calm down, what you're doing, you yeah. know, keep put some away, do what yeah. you're doing. Just save your money. Don't like if you're gonna spend it, you like nicer things, you like buying stuff, fine, do that, but make sure of every week you put away X amount of money into an account because that you won't even see. Do you know what I mean? And just manage your money and don't spend it on stupid shit like I did. <laughs> you gotta have a bit of fun. But still yeah, like, I like, had a lot of fun, you know, yeah, 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 no, I bet, I bet. And it was good, don't get me wrong, but it is what it is like. Well, another thing I've got to ask, obviously mm. love. Okay, it's like I talk about on my podcast a lot. Okay. Right? You yeah. seem to be pretty happy in your relationship, right? 
It's yeah. got you onto Made in Chelsea, a whole yeah. new thing that I never. Tom Zanetti, Made in Chelsea, what? Yeah. How yeah, is yeah. all of that, and how has that impacted your career as a whole? Is that something you now want to go into? I'd never seen the show before. Right. I'd never seen Celebs Go Dating before I'd watched it. I just, I didn't, I didn't even try and watch it. I thought, well, this sounds class. I'm yeah. going to go into it open mind and see what happens. Like, that's why I didn't know Tom Reed at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, I love him at PC, don't get me wrong. But I didn't know anyone who was on there. I didn't know what was going to happen. Sophia was in there and yeah. I'd not seen her since the, the mansion. Yeah, I, want, yeah. I want to see her in person well, of and, course. you know, enjoy each other. And mm. without, I don't want her to think that I'm just coming on TV to see her. So I said, no. I said, well, look, it's Sophie's birthday. She's doing an Oktoberfest party. She's got 50 litres of German beer. She's going to be dressed in a little sexy German outfit. Yeah. Come and DJ as a surprise. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> That's me twice, bro. I was straight there. <laughs> yeah, so I've done it. Um, obviously, she's got a really strenuous schedule with filming. So after I'd done that, I had a great weekend. I met all the people on there. Really enjoyed it. They wanted me to, the producer wanted me to stay long term, but I went home. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to over, well, overstay my welcome. Yeah, yeah, or, of course. So I got off. But then... She was still in there. I'd not really seen her. I'd not seen her, so I went back in to see her again. They asked me to come on. It was locked down. I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. Right. They said, you're going to come party in a mansion with a load of crazy characters and we'll give you a lump of dough. Like, yeah. Again, why? I'm there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's do it. Some DJs may go, look, I'm a DJ. That is what I am. I want to be only known as that. I don't want to yeah. branch out. But I think branching out down if different avenues that could open even more doors yeah, yeah, yeah. is like almost key to maintaining a successful career business because yeah. otherwise you get left behind do you know what, do you know what i mean? just do what what i enjoy yeah if I, if I think something's going to be fun i don't care what anyone thinks about right. it that sounds to me like an amazing experience yeah. obviously I, i'd like to explore more opportunities to see but obviously you know things that i think are going to be fun i wouldn't ever yeah. like to do anything that's like bitchy or have you ever found yourself in a situation like that where you're you're doing it, you're doing something, and you're like, mate, this no, I can't, I can't do this, like business wise. With YouTube, especially when you start getting a bit older, yeah. like I can't. The stuff I was doing when I was seventeen, I'm twenty five now. It's like yeah, yeah. I'm putting on an act, yeah, and, I, yeah, and I started yeah. going off and off it in that sense. And that's where like the whole you know DJ and stuff. I was like, right, I want to learn something new. Yeah. I want, I want to try something, something new. Like that's that. a great idea because obviously you are really passionate about music. You said yeah. you've been making music for years. Yeah, yeah man. Of and if you're passionate, and that's what you want to do, do it, bro. You've got a massive platform and it's a completely different avenue to what you and you obviously can blog and YouTube what you're doing yeah. Mate, and that'll of be course, of sick course. content for your fans and yeah. for what you're doing. It's I think it's a perfect way to go. Yeah. You could even vlog the you know the process of trying to throw your own event so yeah. you can help kids who might be interested Wait, in course, event, yeah. event management yeah. so how they're going to do it yeah. Yeah. and if you need any help give me a shout bro I oh, mean of course of course yeah. bruv wicked all right bruv so just had a word with the pilot we're yeah. almost in better yeah. dorm oh, What's the first thing you do? get the tequilas in let's get it in let's all go. right then let's yeah. do it it's oh, been great having you thank on. you very much let's smash it. thanks for watching guys like and subscribe on this video and please comment down below who you'd like to see me sit and chat to next time on the six silks high life peace mm -hmm.